All right, guys, I think it's now time and place to actually go through everything we know so far about NHL 23. First thing I think what we need to know is the community roadmap. So we will have four different trailers. One of them will be gameplay, one will be presentation, game modes and hockey ultimate team. As you can see on the screen, we only know so far about the gameplay. We have a date for that. We also know about the early access and we know about the launch. What they did forget to add is the fact that we will actually have a technical text for World of Shell, which will be released straight after the gameplay trailer on the 30th of August. So about the presentation and game modes, we don't have any dates at the moment, but we know and expect them somewhere in the mid-September. And Hockey Ultimate Team trailer, I would assume it will probably be around 7th of 8th of October, a few days before the early access. I think what people are asking is, will there be a 10 hour trial and will we get the game before the 11th of October? Uh, the answer is no. We will get the 10 hour trial, but the game will not be available for anyone before the 11th of early access, except maybe some of the game changers. Another thing I would like to discuss is the NHL X Factor pre-order bonuses and what are we getting. So if you decide to pre-order the X Factor edition for Xbox or PlayStation, old gen or new gen, we need to know the first thing about is there will be no monthly pre-order packs. As you can see on this calendar here, and what are we getting? There are no pre-order packs this time. So I would say then this time they are changing, they're swapping the pre-order packs twice, two packs a month to 4,600 NHL points. And so we will get X Factor Women's Hut Choice Pack, one of four. So I believe that would say then at the beginning of the game, we will only have four X Factor Women cards in Hut. Hut X Factor Player Choice Pack, one of 18. That's a good start because we, we know then it means at the beginning there will be Minimum of 18 X Factors available in the game. It will also let you play the game in the new gen and the old gen. If you if you started in the old gen and you decided you want to upgrade to new Xbox or PlayStation, it will let you just swap all your progress over to the new console. As discussed previously, we will have a three days early access. We will have the power of collectible and starter pack. I would say that would probably include between one and five power of collectibles just to help us to get one of our X Factors a little bit higher. World of Chell X Factor zone abilities unlocks. It's only if you play the game in World of Chell. For myself as a only hockey hockey ultimate team player, uh, not really fun of it, but I believe there's a lot of people who really like it. Be a pro X Factor slot unlocked. I think this is a good addition because a lot of people actually enjoy playing Be A Pro, including myself, and that will help me to maybe do some more YouTube series about it, but okay. And then we also will get the Southerners World of Child Jersey digital. Make sure it's digital. What I would suggest you guys, if you really want to pre-order the, the game, then do it before the September 16. As you can see here, if we pre-order the game between the before the September 16, we will receive a bi team builder choice pack, two out of 32. And I think that's a really good addition. So for those early people who like to grind Ultima team, I think that's a really good addition and will help your team quite a lot. Another thing what people are questioning quite a lot is how will the cross platform works? So this picture can briefly explain what it means. So PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 will be able to play with and against each other. PlayStation 4 and Xbox will be able to play against each other, but not together. So PlayStation 4 will not be able to play with or against PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S. Same thing about the Xbox One. So you will be able to play against the PlayStation 4 but and with and against the Xbox One, but not again against or with the new gen consoles. And the same thing about the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. So you will be able to play with and against with your own console and only a guest cross-platform. A really good addition then at least we know we'll be able to find a game a little bit quicker. It still will leave you four markets, unfortunately that's how it will be. Also there will be a leaderboard but the leaderboard will not be cross-platform so technically you will only see a leaderboard on your let's say hood champ run. So I really fully don't understand how it will work when we play we will play hood champs every weekend. I guess PlayStation and Xbox players, but the leaderboard will only show me PlayStation players. So that's something EA probably will need to clarify a little bit more and deeply. But I think that they will cover that in one of their uh, gameplay trailers. Another huge addition, personally for myself, because I'm a really big fan of uh, women's hockey. First time ever we will have women's added to the hockey ultimate team. 
and other game modes, it means they'll be able to have a lineup combined with the boys and girls, and they will be able to play next to each other. I really think this is a cool feature. We obviously there's a lot of concerns about the sizes and how will the heating work, but again, let's wait and see before we make any kind of uh, judgments about it. But for me, that's a really huge win, and I think the best addition so far in NHL 23. Also, I would like to go through additions and to make sure you guys are choosing the right edition for yourself. So these are all the editions we can see on the PlayStation Store. So we have the standard edition for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, and we have an X Factor edition. This will also give you a full breakdown of what is included in every single edition, just so if you're still unsure. I really like the covers for the standard edition PlayStation 4. I really think it's some kind of high, give me some kind of high school vibes. The prices for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One Standard Edition will be $60 and the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X will be $70. And the X Factor Edition will cost you $99.99. But if you didn't see my previous video already, uh, make sure you go and check it out. There is a way how you can save 20% on your pre-order. So let's say instead of $99.99, you can actually pay... 20% less. There's, there will be also a lot of new information about the franchise customization and I think will be in one of the presentation trailers the EA NHL will show us. So I believe there will be different crowd, different presentations when you win the Stanley Cup. So that's a really good addition because I think a lot of people are really tired of watching the same presentation over and over again, exactly if you're a franchise guy or be a pro guy. Also, there will be new X factors and I think that's a huge, huge win again. Uh, because obviously the cover boy Trevor Zagers will have his own X Factor, which will be called Skilled Up. So hopefully that will be one of the top used. Uh, hopefully this X Factor will be a little bit better than the one they gave Matthews, and technically no one ever <laughs> used the X Factor. But hopefully this one will be much better. Also another new feature, and uh, I think the first one who discovered that was. Uh, Cam No Sleeves, uh, you can check out his Twitter, he actually tweeted that out and the day of uh, EA showed us the trailer. So as you can see, in the back of Cerners there will be some new objectives where it says score with the triggered player, score with new 1-3-1 power plays, it means we will have new power play strategies and I think that's a huge compared to what we had because there was no any changes to the strategies for the last five years. Get an assist with the power player quarterback. I think. This is a really good addition because we, a lot of people, including myself, are always complaining that the NHL Ultimate Team challenges are not worth doing. And what we don't know so far is what the rewards will be, but hopefully it will be more than 250 coins and a silver player. But okay, we need to wait and see before we make any judgments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. It would really help me a lot to grow the channel. I'm also live on Twitch five days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you check that out and have a good one. See you on the ice.